Hi everybody, it's Julie and welcome to my day two for the 100 day project. I'm also going to be making my hidden journaling card and my hidden paper clip for my February junk journal challenge. I'm going to be doing this using digitals and some other things. So let's take a look at the digital I'm using. I'm going to be using from the bases, pages, and ephemera kit it is just like it says it is bases these are all antique images and um, ready for you to add your items so you've got a library pocket and a library card you've got an envelope you've got a set of postcards you've got a map of Nova Scotia I think these from the late 1800s and one of Quebec. Then you've got them smaller. You have some dictionary pages, just in case you don't have any dictionary pages. There's some antique dictionary pages. You've got some large tags using the postcards, large tags using the maps and the vocabulary words. Then you've got them smaller, so you can pick the size that you want to use. And there's your library card and smaller. And then look, you get them even smaller and even smaller. So I'm going to be using this page here and, um, and then we'll find another page to use for my paper clip but I have already gone ahead and cut that out. And so this, again, the bases, pages, and ephemera kit from Dear Julie Julie. It is on sale in the Etsy shop for three days as a flash sale. Okay, so I have the envelope that I wanted to use. I have an index card, and I have an envelope. This one is... One, two, three, and five-eighths by one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, and three-eighths, okay? So an envelope, and I'm going to go ahead and I have um, taken it apart, okay? Got it taken apart, and we're going to go ahead and we need an insert, and I'm going to use this, and... see I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this it's eventually it's going to be a page in my journal so this is from my paper pad um, each month here on the dear Julie Julie channel we do a challenge and then throughout the month I make my items that I need for my challenge that's gonna be a, a page in my journal and then I can use this. Okay, so I'm gonna line this. I have not done this one before. This is this is a new one. I want to try and come up with some new new things. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I just do the pinch and cut. Pinch and cut. I'm gonna put this over here because their sizes look really similar. Okay. And let's see, are we, are we good? So that is going to fit on the inside of my envelope perfectly, okay? I am going to go ahead and cut this down. Okay, and I'm gonna cut this side down also. So all we have are those two pieces that are sticking out. Now I do want to go ahead and glue these down. So I'm going to put my glue right in here. Glue that down. Okay, and glue it down over here. So this is different than the hidden, hidden journaling cards that I've made before. Um, and so 
There we go. There we go. Okay. So this is going to go on top of here. Okay. It's going to go on top of here. And I'm going to leave it open up here. Okay. I'm going to leave it open at at this side. Okay, so putting my hand where I wanna make sure that the opening stays open and putting glue on the other three sides. Okay, putting that back down, making sure it's on the inside of all folds, okay? and right up against this, this fold here, okay? I wanna be right up, right up against that fold up there, okay? Where that's gonna fold over, right there, okay? This right here, I'm not as concerned about, but this one up here where my opening is, that one, I'm concerned about, okay? So there we go. So the next thing, I wanna make sure that my, my card is gonna fit in there with no problem. Very good. Okay, but we'll make sure that this is gluing. Okay, now, to make this easier to go in and out, I'm going to try, or to round the corners of the part that will go in. It just makes it easier to add that, <clears throat> to add that in. Now, we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this flap off, okay? Cutting that flap off. And we are gonna come over and we're gonna add that flap And I'm gonna turn it over, okay? I'm gonna turn it over because this is a nicer, nicer side. And we get to use washi tape. <laughs> and of course I hadn't picked out a washi tape, but I'm gonna use, I'll use this one. When I say we get to, um, there are rules to the challenge of what you're allowed to use and what you're not allowed to use. And if you did one of, if you did the bonus mini challenge, you got to use any and as much washi as you wanted to. And um, so I'm going to add that. Okay. That'll give me that. How does that look? Okay. Okay. Is that going to go in? This is my hidden, yeah, that'll do. Look at that, okay? There's my hidden journaling card. This is my favorite. So one of my favorites that I picked was the, um, was those uh, index cards. Okay, so adding the digital, um, Wanting to give this something different, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another, um, should we do a pocket that goes, yeah, we're going to do a pocket that goes up in that direction, okay? So that will be distracting. This is somebody that's going through the journal that doesn't need to know where the hidden journaling is. Okay, so go ahead and add this in. Okay. 
Now this is going to be able to be added in as a pocket, okay, or as like a little traveling card. Okay, so now the other thing, so I've got a pocket here now, pocket right here, and so we're going to want to add something there. Do I have one of the cards that are... I do see these are my extras my extra pieces um well I think we could use some Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut. And cut. And we'll turn that into like a little tab. That will go in there. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Um, I need to I needed to add some fabric. And one of my fabrics that I chose was this cheesecloth that I had colored. I'm just gonna grab this piece. Okay. And I'll add that on there. I'm going to grab from oh, I, I. <laughs> I took the scraps that were on my desk and I put them in here. Here's one of those little tiny um, envelopes. That uh, eclectic kit, that was from my day one. Those are still on sale. So for three days, there's a flash sale on the digital that I use in each of the hundred videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that on there just using my stapler oh I think we'll double staple because that looks more like it was decoration rather than just something being stapled on I think okay so there we go so you have a place you can write here you can have, you have a place that you can write here. Um, I have been, just, I have been distressing. I know, I'm shocked. So, but to bring the purple in and then adding it on a couple of the elements that are on the, the paper pad because they were, they give the hint of lavender and purple, but they're not actually. So they're just giving that a little bit of the purple and then can go around this also. Okay, so this is my newest idea for a hidden journaling card, and that is using an envelope. I'm always trying to come up with ways to use envelopes in my, um, in my journals. 
I'll go ahead and grab a page out of my extra book here. So you can have some bases of these put together and um, add them into your journals if you like. I I'm a I like the hidden That just goes right in there, lines right up, and it just looks like it's part of part of the goodie, right? It has a really nice weight to it. Ooh, I like that. I should have probably left the scrappy side on the other one. Since I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, we'll go ahead and go around there. Okay. No distressed. Okay. So that comes out like this. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make um, a little goodie. Okay, that's going to go in there. I don't want to ask... <laughs> accidentally use okay so I need two circles I don't know if I can get two out of this but we'll try there's one there's two Okay, we're going to add those here. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, I'm going to sew them on. <laughs> I'm going to sew them on. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start mine. And I'm going to put it under here. And that, I think, is going to help to lift it. Okay? So, it'll lift it up to make it easy, easier. Okay. We'll go like... I want to make sure that no matter which way this goes down, um, my round is not in the way. Okay? And I'm just going to put this on, I guess, like it's a button. Something to come up. I'm gonna find the hole that my first one went through. <laughs> Sometimes the easiest thing is not the easiest thing, huh? Two is good. Then I'm going to come up and I'm going to come around it. Oh, well, that didn't work. So, what I'm thinking is that we need to have one on the inside as well. So, yeah, you know, live and learn. Live and learn. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll grab two from this piece. It's all good. No worries. It's how we learn, right? And if you can learn from my mistakes, then there you go. Okay. So I'm going to take these apart. Okay. 
and we'll start over. Okay, let's go ahead and turn these into, into buttons. Trying to use my little pokey tool here. Making paper buttons. You could cover these with fabric. That would be your, could be your fabric. Okay, there's that one. Oh, there's the other one up there. much easier with the the no, the needle that has a much pointier point. Okay. So do I want to use the brown one on top or the gray? I think the gray. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead just like we did before. I am going to go ahead and start my start it I'm gonna cut this little the extra after my knot I'm gonna cut some of that off because I don't need it to stick out from behind okay and we'll go ahead and go in from the the underside okay and that's gonna be that and then we'll come over here Okay, and then from this one, we'll go in from the underside. I had a really bad allergy attack yesterday, so you might hear me wheezing every once in a while when I'm breathing. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's irritating. <coughs> but we tried a new marinade. And... Uh, you know, I, it's, it, I am so used to, we just use what we use. We don't stray from what we use very often because of, you know, it's like I, and so I'm out of practice of checking labels and I forgot to check the label. And so, so I get, I got to suffer. Oh, it's not fun. Okay, let's make sure that we're pulled through. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through the top one one more time. I'm going to pull it tight. We should be okay to pull it tight this time because we have... Um, the under round, okay? And then I'm gonna go around this and I'm gonna tie, tie this off, okay? So tie it and I'm gonna tie it again. And see, it lifts it up off of the, up off of the goodie, okay? So there. And I'm going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing again. This time we'll go, let's make sure that we're in a place. There we go. Okay, so we're going to do all the same thing again. We're going to go ahead and tie off the end, make a knot on the end of my um, my string and I'm just taking it and then I'm taking that and rolling it. Okay. And then pulling this down and that gives me a knot. Okay. And I'm going to pull on it, make sure that it's not going to, it's not 
going to come undone. And then we're going to come over and we're going to grab from the inside. We're going to go in and then go back down. Okay. And then from that, we're going to grab the ends, put the inside to the inside. And that one can go through. Whoop. Don't get, don't get all in a tangle. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to go back. Back through. Come on here. Okay, so my back one is now attached. I want to go through the top one one more time. And back down. but just to the back side of the that top one, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tie this one twice. And if I wasn't doing a challenge, I could do this with buttons but I did not pick buttons as one of my, my things, my favorites. Okay. Now I'm going to take this. I really don't need very much string and I'm going to go ahead and add a knot in the bottom of that. Okay. And now this I can just go ahead and use that to close my hidden card. Okay, so there's my hidden journaling card. Again, this is going to be able to go into the journal and throughout, um, or you could go ahead and put it on a page and have it inside. Okay, it even could go in this direction. Okay, so to get in, you just figure out how you had it. Go there and there. You've got journaling here. You can journal here. And you have your hidden journaling card over here. Okay. So from my kit, um, let's see, we inked. We added string and we added digitals, staples. So, so we're all good. Okay, there you go. I love it. I think that that is really, really fun. Using the bases kit, we used a um, postcard from the basis kit. I'm going to check and see if I have any of my stickers left or anything, and I might add something either on here or down here. Um, but I really, really like that. So, uh, next for the, there's the wheezing again. Um, for the paper clip, I have these two postcards that are right next to each other. Okay, so we're gonna make a hidden, hidden paper clip using the bases. Ephemera and Pages Digital Kit. Okay, so I have that. I'm going to go ahead and fold those over. Okay, like that. 
And then I'm going to grab from the, um, from the envelope from earlier, I'm going to grab that flap because I'm really trying to use all my, um, my scraps. Okay. Like right away. And so this would be a scrap that I would have had. I've got my fabric tack. Um, that is my glue of choice when I am making these. And so I'm going to start, you know what, let's go ahead and I think we're going to end up putting one on the, yeah, we're going to do it like this. Okay. So we'll put one on one side and one on the other side. Okay. So I like to use the fabric tack for this because it's a gel. And so, um, you don't see the paper clip as, as much. You can, you can, might still see the paper clip. Okay, and I'm also going to go around my postcard. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Oh, we'll go ahead and put the other one on. Okay, so this one's going to go on this side. Any day now. Okay, so I need to add fabric to this. And one of my things from my kit that's one of my favorites, I'm kind of thinking the metals, the, the little dragon, the brads and the, the leaf. Okay. Okay. So there's my, my card. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut this down right up to the edge right up to the edge and then for my fabric i've got this little piece right here i'm going to take the fraying off if i can the frayed Ugh, stupid wheezing tom was really worried it's good i haven't had an allergy attack in a long time not not like that um, but I used to have them all the time okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open these two sides up a little okay so my fabric has a place to go. Okay, there's my fabric. And then Okay, oh good, I still have a leaf. So there's a metal leaf. And here's my little brads. These were in my stash. I've been using them as part of my metal. <clears throat> okay, I think that this might be kind of fun to have this kind of sticking out. And so, let's see if I go through the leaf and through the end of the paper clip. 
Okay, but I don't like the de direction that he was in. Or she. It. And then we'll separate this out. Okay, so there's that. So I've added my favorite and my fabric. Okay, I will ink it. That's an enhancement. get to you if you do the one of one of the other challenges makes it so that you can use stamps and I have this new stamp set that I just got from Spectrum Art Creations and Parfum Violet it says I think that will be perfect in my yeah we'll just go ahead and put that on there okay we did that what if we go ahead and there. Yay, I used my new stamp set. Okay, and we'll take that, put this back on here. So this stamp set, I showed it in the haul video over the, the weekend, and it has all kinds of great little things. And it's got a little floral stamp that looks like a violet. Yeah, I like that. Okay, there we go. So stamping, inking, and then what if we go ahead and remember when we did our stenciling using the dots? We've already done this before in this journal. Okay. So we can just add some dots. Okay, stenciling. So stamping, stenciling, inking, those are all enhancements. That works. And that gives us our three other things that we needed to do besides the fabric and the favorite, okay? So that is awesome. I love the way those turned out. Okay, gonna have to figure that out. Close up all the stamps so 100 day project are you um participating in the 100 day project i'm excited to see several of you are um you pick any crafty thing that you want to do 
and um, you do it for a hundred days. Um, if you are doing it and you use Dear Julie Julie Digitals, then you can use the hashtag the hundred day project DJJ24. And we will be using that hashtag um, to for prizes, okay? So um, for digital prizes, who knows? Maybe something um, to come in the mail. And so I think that it is awesome. So um, I'm also excited because I was able to make uh, my hidden journaling card and my hidden paper clip okay so i get to mark that off and you see i have my pictures of what i thought i was going to do and so i'm excited that it worked and um yeah i think that that is really really going to be fun okay so did you like the new hidden journaling card using an envelope um, I'm always trying to come up with new ways to use an envelope. We do another um, way of uh, using an envelope for a hidden journaling card. And I'll find that video and I'll put it in the description box down below. But this is what we've got today. I think it's awesome. And um, yeah, so uh, did I? No, I, I got to ink that. Um, I will ink that. Thank you guys. Uh, don't forget the new, uh, not new, but the bases, ephemera and pages digital kit that I showed you in the beginning. The bases, pages, and ephemera kit is in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop and it is on sale. For three days, you get a three-day flash sale of this kit. So you get um, the large size, the medium size, the small, and the mini of all the different pages. And um, I think they are going to be, a, they have been a lot of fun to work with. I'll be cutting all this out and putting it in that box you just saw. And so that's going to give me several little embellishments. And also I have this that I'll be able to add to my stash and this red postcard. So, um, and that's just cleaning up the pages that I had used for this video. Okay, so how exciting is that? I cannot wait to see what you're doing. Again, make sure that if you're using Dear Julie Julie Digitals, it can be any of them. It can be the freebies. So remember, we give away a freebie uh, every Friday, um, except for when Friday falls on the 1st. And um, so, and that's going to happen again on March 1st. We're going to have our details for the March video will show up. And so, um, but we, we have our freebie Friday fun day and it is a party and we give things away and we give away to, uh, all the people that commented on videos throughout the week. We do what we call do the thing. Everyone that does the thing gets a chance for, uh, the one sheet digitals from 2024 and you guys see this I think I'm just gonna go ahead and have this be ready to be the insides of paper clips and then I can get that off my desk you know that's how we use up our scraps okay so I'll just grab my paper clips, put three paper clips on there, and that gives me the insides for three hidden paper clips. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. Don't forget those are on sale. And today, the eight, uh, 19th of February is President's Day. 
And so I had put all the red, white, and blue digital kits. Those are also on sale to celebrate President's Day. And the link to the Etsy shop is in the description box down below. It's Dear Julie Julie. We're Dear Julie Julie everywhere. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.